Hey everyone, today's video is about when Tadraki, Bakugo, and Midoriya all love you and take you on dates. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's get going. Bakugo, Tadraki, and Midoriya were all in love with you, and each one wanted to take you out on a date. But then they had an idea. Why not take you on a date together? At first, you're a bit hesitant. After all, you didn't want to hurt anyone's feelings. But the three of them were insistent. And they promised that it would be a fun and memorable experience. So you agreed. And the three of them planned the night out for the three of you. Bakugo was in charge of the location. Tadriki in charge of the food. And Midoriya of the entertainment. The night of the date arrived, and you were surprised to see that the three of them had dressed up in their best outfits. Bakugo wore a sleek, black suit. Tadruki wore a stylish white dress shirt and black slacks. And Midoriya wore a simple but elegant navy blue blazer. Bakugo took you to a fancy restaurant in the heart of the city where the three of you were seated at a private table overlooking the skyline. Tadruki had arranged for a multi-course meal, and each dish was more delicious than the last. Midori entertained you with stories and jokes, and the three of them shared stories about their adventures and their dreams for the future. As the night went on, you realized that you were having a great time. The three of them were all amazing in their own ways, and it was clear that they cared deeply for you. But you still didn't know how to choose just one of them. You couldn't help but feel overwhelmed. Each of them had their own unique qualities that you loved. And you realized that maybe you had fallen for all three of them. I can't just choose one of you. You finally confessed, feeling your cheeks heat up. The three of them looked at each other, clearly surprised by your confession. But then they smiled. We don't want you to choose, Midoriya said, taking your hand. We all care about you, and we don't want to lose you. Bakugo nodded, a small smile on his lips. Yeah, we can make this work. We'll figure it out. Tadruki added, As long as we're all honest with each other and communicate, we can make it work. You felt a wave of gratitude wash over you. These three heroes were willing to share you to make it work just so that they could be with you. It was an unconventional arrangement but you knew that you wouldn't have it any other way. From that night on, you began dating all three of them, going on adventures and fighting villains side by side. It wasn't always easy, but with their love and support, you knew that you could handle anything that came your way. In the end, you knew that you had found something special, something that you had never expected but I'd always hoped for a love that wasn't conventional, but just as strong as any other. After that first date, your relationship with Bakugo, Tadruki, and Midoriya only grew stronger. The three of them took turns planning dates, each trying to outdo the other with creativity and thoughtfulness. One weekend, Bakugo took you on a surprise trip to the beach. You spend the day longing in the sand and swimming in the ocean. In the evening, Bakugo had set up a picnic dinner with all your favorite food. You know, I was never really into the beach, Bakugo said as you watched the sunset. But being here with you, it's different. It's amazing. You smiled, feeling your heart swell with love. I feel the same way. 
On another date, Tadaragi took you to an art museum. He showed you his favorite paintings, and he spent hours admiring the beauty of the artwork. I always loved coming here when I was a kid, Tadaragi said. As he stood in front of a particularly breathtaking piece, it's nice to share this with you. You leaned your head on his shoulder, feeling a sense of comfort and warmth. I'm glad we could share this together. And then there was Midoriya, who took you on a surprise camping trip. You spent the weekend hiking, roasting marshmallows over the campfire, and stargazing. It's so quiet here, Midoriya said, as you laid on the blanket, looking up at the stars. It's nice to get away from the city, even if it's just for a little while. You nodded feeling a sense of peace wash over you. It's perfect, just like you. Midoriya blushed, his smile going wider. You're perfect, too. As time went on, your love for them also grew stronger. You knew that your relationship wasn't conventional, but it didn't matter. As long as you had each other. Years passed and your love for them never faltered. You had faced countless challenges together. And then, on a beautiful spring day, they proposed to you, each with a ring in hand. It was a beautiful moment, one that you would never forget. We know it's unconventional. Bakugo said, taking your hand. But we love you, and we want to spend the rest of our lives with you. Tadaruki added, We don't need to confirm to anyone else's idea of what love should be. We have our own unique love, and it's just as strong as any other. Midoriya finished. We want to make a commitment to you, to love you, and cherish you, always. You felt tears prick at the corners of your eyes. This was everything you had ever wanted. And more. With a smile, you nodded. Yes, I'll marry you all. The three of them exchanged happy legs. Before enveloping you in a hug, you knew that your life would never be dull or ordinary. But with them by your side, you knew that it would always be filled with love and adventure. Thank you guys for listening. I hope you like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye.